for some science and this week we're still looking at using materials and thinking about how they're suitable for different jobs so what we're going to do today is we're going to make sure we know what different materials are we're going to do a simple test and we're going to get some results we're going to write our results down and we're going to explain what our results tell us so before we get started i want you to remind yourself like we did last week what is a material? What do we mean by properties when we're talking about materials? Think of some examples of each and then have a think about last week's work. Which bowl and which chair were best at their jobs and why? Which material was best suited for those jobs? Pause the video and have a think. So today we have a superhero challenge for you. In the slide you might be able to see Elastigirl from The Incredibles. And she's got a bit of a problem. So you might know that since her name is Elastigirl, her superpower is that she is stretchy. She can stretch for miles and miles. But unfortunately, the last time she was on one of her secret missions, her outfit got a hole in it. And that's no good, is it, when you're trying to save the world? So she went and asked her tailor to make her a new outfit. However, the tailor made it out of cardboard. Do you think that's a good idea for Elastigirl? Should her outfit be made out of cardboard? Hmm. And if you don't think it is, can you think of a better material? One that you think would be um, better at stretching when she needs to stretch and reach things? Have a little think. Perhaps you want to pause the video and think what would be the best material for Elastigirl's outfit. So hopefully you've had time to have a little think. And I'm sure you will agree that cardboard is not a great idea for an outfit. It wouldn't be a great idea for an outfit for us. Never mind for Elastigirl. It's not flexible. It doesn't stretch, does it? That would be terrible. It would just rip. So she has asked us to decide the best material for her outfit. So what you need to do is you need to have a look round. See if you can find in your house or at school five different materials that can you think could be stretched for her outfit and then once you've found them what you need to do is you need to measure them so you can measure them with a ruler or with a tape measure and you need to measure them when they're just flat on the table or on the floor see how big they are before you start you can get a grown-up to help you with the measuring and then on the sheet that's in the files you need to write down how long that material is before you stretch it. Then, once you've done that, you might want to do it for all the materials. Then you need to have a go at stretching it. So when you choose your materials, you need to check with a grown-up that they're okay with what you've chosen being stretched. So, when you stretched it, you're going to need someone to help you with this. You need to measure how long it is when you're stretching it like the outfit will be. And once you've stretched it and measured how long it is, you'll then need to write that down in the table as well. So measure it when it's flat, not being stretched, and measure it while it's being stretched as well. But remember, ask permission before you start stretching somebody's jumper. So I have got some science tips for you. I'm sure most of you know that I love science. So I have a few tips to help you with your investigation, with your tests. So if you can, this might not be possible, but if you can, try and choose some materials that are a similar size before they're stretched, because it will be easier to compare them. So we want to know which is the stretchiest. And if we've got one massive one and one tiniest one, that could make our results a little bit confusing. So if you can, try and choose things which are a similar size before you stretch them. And also, something important to remember is that Elastigirl is not bothered about looking pretty or having the nicest outfit. She wants the stretchiest. So it doesn't matter if you think it's not very nice looking or she perhaps won't like the colour. The most important thing for our test today is it being the stretchiest, not the nicest looking or the nicest feeling. So once you've tested all your materials, you've measured them before you stretch them, measured them while you're stretching them and written that all down on the sheet, you need to make some recommendations. So Elastigirl is going to want to know what your results tell us. So you need to have a look over the results and decide which material you think is best to make her outfit. And then you'll see on the sheet next to the picture of her, there are some lines to write on. And on those lines, you need to say, I think that whichever material you've chosen using your results is the best. 
because and then you could give her some reasons you could talk about it being stretchy you could talk about it being as well as stretchy like how it feels but the most important thing is that it's the stretchiest one so you need to explain why you've chosen that so it's time to get cracking so find five different materials to stretch measure them before you start measure how far you can stretch them remember to ask a grown-up if you can use it first record the results on the sheet and then tell Elastigirl which material you've chosen and why and once you've done all of that please email it us because Mrs Lee and I would love to see what you've told Elastigirl enjoy